All right. Are we ready? <laughs> hey, friends, while staring at Tumblr from the silence. All right. All right. Let's do this. New game it up. Hell yeah, it is. Um, yes, it was a cat. <laughs> At first, I wasn't so sure. But once I got on that bus and the engine started humming and the air brakes released, the other passengers started yapping away, dozing off, blasting their music through headphones that might as well not be there. I knew this wasn't a dream. After 16 years, I left Pallet Town, that little village in the southwestern pocket of Kanto. I was headed for the Kabukan region, a piece of land that's way further from home than I thought. In front of me is Kabukan Academy, the place where the new chapter of my life will begin. I am not reading. I know this is an entire wall of text. <laughs> and I'm not, I'm not reading it. Move popcorn. I'm gonna go date some Pokemon people not Pokemon the people it's a good thing I got some sleep on the bus I was imagining all the different people I'll soon meet different Pokemon I'll be able to see train learn about I mean hey that's the entire point of coming here not to date some bitches am I right daydreaming the number one time waster I'm gonna turn down that music a little bit oh no poke good luck with your friend but still, long ride aside, I have to admit, I'm liking the look of this place already. It's a pretty fancy building we've been looking at for five minutes. No point in standing around. Not reading walls of text. <laughs> just not gonna do it. I'm taking all my shit to the dorms. I'm just taking it. I'm taking it all. Let's go. Whether I like it or not, let's go. That's me, I think. Let's do this. Cat, why are you doing this? Hi, and welcome to Relic Hall, one of the three residence halls of the esteemed academy. Your name is... A clown greeted me as soon as I got into the building. I see me some tour guide that's staffed here. I'll play along. What's my name? Am I boring? Do I just write Nick? I love that this game just has, like, Pokemon-ass music. It's amazing. Dina, come here. Come here. Reading Simulator 2K. You know it's Smokesdale. All right, I guess I'm just Nick. Ever, everyone's, everyone's lazy. I see, so you're Nick. Professor Oak wouldn't stop talking about you. Have you met up with him yet, champ? Uh, champ? Wait, was I supposed to meet up with the professor before coming here? Weird. Don't remember him telling me anything like that. Whatever, he's got his hands full of it looking out for me. Seriously, he never runs out of things to research. What's next? More Pokedex updates? Evolution theory? He's getting old. Shouldn't he start taking it easy? I actually... No, not yet. Hey, no worries! He's a busy man. We know all about it. Today especially, with all the students and media hustling and bustling through. Media? <laughs> this hall guide seems on top of things. He's right about Professor Oak, I'm sure this is a tell of Pelletow, this is a celebrity, this is a cop of Wiggles, it's an academy, this is a Joseph Yoffer, this is by the way, hey, it's first come first serve for rooms here. You better find a roommate before the other students start checking in. You got some time, but I see you get started pronto. Plenty of other freshmen who gather the main lounge towards the left down the hall, might be a good idea for you to check there first. Feel free to leave your luggage here, we'll shore it up and bring it to you when you're ready. That's convenient, thanks. You leave your belongings. Cool. There's a lot of commotion coming down the hall. That must be the main lounge, where he told you to go literally two seconds ago. I love this thing in dating sims where they're like, it was so crowded, there were so many people, and everything is empty. <laughs> like, it's empty. Zena, it's my popcorn. It's not for you. It's mine. It's not for you. <laughs> the pokeberry by now. I know, Bacon, it's crazy. Is this it? Well, well. Oh, no. Not here. Not now. Look what the Delcaddy dragged in. Great. 
Fantastic. Blue. Yeah, okay, this guy's the grandson of Professor Oak. I don't give any shits. We're rivals. I get it. I get it. I get it. As usual, you're a step behind. Did you just get here? I can see it now, running after the bus, tears streaming down your face. And I was even nice enough to send you a wake-up call this morning. You'll never get ahead of me at this rate. Um... I bow to you, mighty god of bus catching. You're so amazing, Blue. How can I ever hope to be as efficient and good looking as you? Expression increased. <laughs> That's easy. You just have to train as hard as me and become every day for the rest of your life. <laughs> I wouldn't call myself that efficient. You're just inefficient. Why well, don't even bother? I had a nickname for him when we were kids. What was it again? Stink face. All right. I used to call him Stink Face. Anyway, the important thing is you're late, and the best rooms are getting reserved left and right. Don't tell me you haven't even found a roommate yet. True, a lot more people got here earlier than I expected. Take- We were on the same bus! <laughs> How does he have a fucking- Xena, I swear to God! This cat, man. I wonder if Stink Face already picked out a roommate. I already forgot that I called him Stink Face. <laughs> oh... <laughs> Thanks for the follow, Rose. Ross. <laughs> oh, your cat is being sad. Oh, that's that's not quite as damaging, Poke. I'm glad. Can't believe I've been considering him to be my roommate. Uh, ditch him. <laughs> yeah, like that's ever gonna happen. I'm just gonna go anywhere else. Better hurry before you get paired up with a loser like you. <laughs> Smell ya. <laughs> Ugh. I guess it's time to look around. Oh, it's, okay, it's time to get out of here. There's so many students in the I don't even know where to begin. Oh my god, there's so many texts. And I can just go like this. I don't want to be a creep. No, let's just look around. Oh, and looking and looking and looking. Hmm, who looks nice and responsible? Hmm. Hmm. Blue on point. <laughs> Alright, so we got some floofies over here. And we got some hatties over here. Who are we thinking, guys? Type in chat. One, two, three, four. Who's it gonna be? One, two, three, four. The guy on the right. You saw a UFO? Go out there and and film it, Burby Trash. I don't know their names. Five. Poke, is there something you're not telling me? Four, two, five, four, two. It's between four and two right now. Who's gonna break the tie? Let's see, more fours and twos. More fours and twos. I just don't know any Pokemon name after, like, Ash. Four, two, oh no! Well, no, you guys have both already voted for four and two. <laughs> that doesn't count if you just vote again for the same thing. <laughs> Itchy. Burby, you too? A2, Burby. <laughs> you guys. All right. All right, well, I did. You got four when you rolled the dice? Okay, because I did eeny, meeny, miny, mo in my head with my mouse cursor back and forth, and I picked four as well. So here we go. We're approaching a tall chubby boy who's acting impetuous and silly while listening to his music. It seems like he's about to break into dance. Surprisingly, he doesn't look awkward at all. Okay, that was way shorter than I thought it would be. Hmm? Huh? Me? What should I ask? <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> What's your name? You can call me Turno. And as you can see, I just love music and dancing. It makes me feel alive. You know what I'm saying? I doubt anyone would miss that. 
Looks like everyone stopped staring at him once he stopped jamming out. Anyway, it doesn't hurt to tell him a little about myself. <laughs> I didn't say anything. Sweet name, Nick! But where the heck's Pallet Town? Could have sworn I heard it before, maybe not. But I'm from Santaloon City in the Kalos Reach. Oh wait, Pallet's in Kanto, I just remembered. I'm not sure if he's on the dense side or not. But he definitely seems like an easygoing guy, which could be a good thing. What should I ask next? So we just go like straight for the kill? Or so what were you listening to? Maybe our taste in music don't jam. Like, maybe we'll be sitting in our room and we'll be like, why are you listening to that fucking crap music? Why? Why'd you do this to me, Tierno? Rip Jaren. <gasps> I'll see you later, Gigi. Thanks for stopping by. What were you just listening to? A sick band from Unova called Coughing in the Toxics. Wow. Punk rock's not really my genre, but their music puts out so much energy, I can't stop moving to it. The band name does ring a bell, but I'm not too familiar with their songs. Apparently the lead member is a gym leader, which is pretty cool. What should I ask next? Okay, well. How's the rooming situation like for you? I'm looking for a roommate match. Uh, about that. I was planning on rooming with my buddy Travs. Oh no, please don't worry about it. Ugh. I think it would be better for us to room with others for the sake of new experiences. We practically grew up together, so rooming here would be a little different from living in Kalos. How do you do? My name's Trevor. Nice to meet you, Nick. Likewise. I feel bad I didn't notice him standing there before, but judging by his height, I bet he guessed that a lot. His way of speaking's kinda weird, though. It's so formal. Well, even more so when compared to Tierno. You're right, Trevs. Like, there sure are a lot of people here. But who are you going to room with? Weren't we going to talk about that? I was just thinking about it. If you're going to be jumping and dancing all over the place every day, I might be better off with someone more on the quiet side. <laughs> oh man, that's a good one. Wait, this is when Tierno's tame? Good way, Lord. I can't imagine what he's like when his music on full blast. What should I do? <laughs> now you can just fucking bail on him? <laughs> or just bail entirely? <laughs> Coughing in the toxics. <laughs> um, I'm always up for a party. So we're with Tierno. So how about it, man? Huh? Oh! Yeah, if Trev's okay with it, then sure. I'm 100% okay with that. In fact, I strongly suggest it. I was just kidding earlier. Tierno's not loud at all. He wears headphones most of the time anyway and practices dancing when and where appropriate. That's reassuring. <laughs> Is it? Okay, then. We're going now? Yeah. I'm ready when you are. Hello, new roommate. Hope to see you again sometime, Nick. Tim's my roommate. Jesus Christ. <laughs> did he just say good way, Lord? Yeah, he did. I can't help but feel that I cut between two friends. Trevor was probably just being polite, but if it weren't for me, he and Tierno would probably be room with each other. Was it right for me to just go along with this? Why? Is it like their knees are on the ground? <laughs> Yo, you got hit by a confuser or something, Nick? What's on your mind? Am I that obvious? I might as well just check with him. Hey, are you sure Trevor's gonna be okay on his own? Oh, so that's what's bugging you? You really don't need to worry about Trev's neck. I might be saying this casually, but I know Trev's, and he's the brains between us. He's like gradually turning into a valley girl. If he really wants us to room together, then I can roll with that. Whatever he recommends for me, I trust his judgment. Whatever decisions he makes for himself, I'll support it. Whatever he wants to- Okay, okay, okay. Thanks, me. Wow. You guys must be really close. We go way back. I used to be kind of messed up when I was younger, but when I met Trevs, well, let's just say I owe him a lot. He's my best friend, dude. You don't like him. Maybe he's a little shy sometimes, but Trevs is super sad about meeting new people here. By the way, you're being way too serious about tiny things like this. Huh? 
Maybe I was wrong to be such a downer before. I mean, I just met these guys. I shouldn't be qualified to believe I understand what's on their minds. After what Tierno told me, I'm glad this works out for them, though. Come on, buddy. If you scowl like that, your face is gonna get stuck that way. I know, because my mom told me something like that when I was a kid. Anyway, let's get room keys from the office. That's a good idea. <laughs> Onwards and upwards. Everybody's staring at his things with Tierno. He's jumping all around, he's sticking his chest out, well, trying to stick it out, but he's kind of just tipping over because of how big he is. Rude. But looks like he's genuinely having a good time. Who am I to stop him? Uh-oh. Looks like he's waiting for a response. Uh, yay? <laughs> I give Tierno a little golf clap for his troubles. Expression decreased! <laughs> oh, <laughs> gotta work on that. Whoa. 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 <laughs> Ow! Tierno smacked me across the back, showing his approval. That hurt. He's not just big, he's strong. Maybe I should try and match his enthusiasm just a little, at least when I'm around him. Oh, rip. Hey, weird one. Just got back, got in bed, been working since eight. Oh, you turned 19 in two minutes. Happy birthday! Happy birthday. A little too close there, buddy. I know, eh? Man, she's getting light to observe our room aside so we're longer than the minutes the students and who hummed and did you hear that? This is the room because plenty of sunlight. Plows off the bus being sitting in register for everybody. Got the keys! Let's go. Whoa, wait! You wanna go to the room right now? <laughs> yeah, kind of. Do you have something else to do? It's nothing that important, but I've been looking forward to exploring this place. Get familiar with it, you know? Oh, no worries, that's a good idea. Me and Trevs looked around earlier, so I think we're all set. You know what, though? I'll head to the room first and make sure our stuff's all there. Which side do you want, left or right? Uh, I don't really have a preference. You take first pick. Cool, a shiny right side, then. Catch you later, Nick. Thank God. <laughs> hey, nice, time to explore. Yep, that's looking all right. Super looking around. I'm lost, aren't I? Yeah, I'm lost. I've been wandering around the hallways for 30 minutes and I can't find a single faculty member. I've asked whatever students I've bumped into, but their directions made no sense. What does left of the Tranquil Wings exit and diagonally past the skywalk even mean? I'll just have to keep trudging along till I find a teacher or a student that can give me some coherent directions. But man, there aren't many people walking around this hallway. In fact, I don't see it. think I see a single living thing in sight. Thanks for the follow, Kelvin to the moon. <laughs> now do a spin. I close my eyes and weakly put my fist against the wall. Typical. <laughs> my first few hours here, came to find my way around my own residence hall. Hey buddy, what do you think you're doing? Whoa! I spin around and jump back to your feet. A girl's voice came from two inches behind my ear. Sure enough, there's a strange girl standing in front of me with a puzzled look on her face. Is she upperclassman? That's impossible. They should be moving into their dorms now. Who are you? What are you doing here? The girl gives me a disapproving look, like I'm the one in the wrong. Doesn't she know? <laughs> Burping. Doesn't she know she just nearly made me piss my pants? Uh, I could ask you the same thing. Do you have any idea where you are? I take a closer look at my surroundings. Nothing really out of the ordinary, just a hallway full of dorms, right? On closer inspection, there's something written on the signs here. Third year women's dormitory in big red letters. That's weird. I didn't know female learning dorms existed at this school. Aren't all halls supposed to be co-ed? Wait, I think I recall this. There's just a ladies hall. There's a ladies hall. There's a ladies hall. Wait, no, not okay. I hope this girl's more understanding than she looks. I just have to play it off cool and say what little pride I have. But how can I play go She's been staring at us for so long. And I'm not talking to her. Why are you smiling at me? <laughs> God, I don't think I've ever been more embarrassed in my life. You should be embarrassed. So you are lost. I started following you a few hallways back because I thought you were some kind of pervert, but you're just another student. I don't think the brochure is that hard to follow. I mean, the design of the dorm swings are laid out in a grid, so it should really be easy to navigate. Here, let me see yours. I'll ignore that first comment, but brochure? 
Now that she mentions it, I vaguely remember those other students carrying around small leaflets from before. A mischievous grin spreads across the girl's face like she knows exactly what's going through my mind. Don't tell me you didn't pick one up. You seriously went all this time without a map and then you made it all the way here from the main hall? I have to say, your sense of direction is amazing. Wait, huh, no it's not. It's hopeless. I have to say, I'm already not a huge fan of this girl. Yeah, all right. Are you gonna keep laughing at me or can you help get me out of here? <coughs> Popcorn. Uh, since you asked so nicely, I'll take you up on that offer. <laughs> you little... Yeah, she was totally ditching us to go shopping. That sounded like another girl. In fact, that sounds like there are multiple girls, judging by how loud their voices are. I'd say they're in the hallway right next to us. I'd take a look around for an escape path, but this hallway is conveniently a dead end. I'm trapped. There's nowhere to go. The only thing I can do is stand my ground and beg for forgiveness. This is it. This is where my precious academy life ends and it hasn't even been a day. Goodbye, cruel, wo cruel world. Wow. Wah! The girl takes me by the hand and drags me deeper down the hallway. She's way stronger than she looks. Hold on, is she trying to save me? She was acting so snobby. That's my popcorn, Xena. But maybe somewhere in that insufferable personality. Wow. <laughs> Look, you don't have to try and help me. I'll just explain to them what happened. Keep your voice down. If I'm seen here with you, those seniors are going to grow me too. Aren't you a senior? No, I'm a freshman. I don't want rumors spreading them with someone like you before I've even had my first class. Rude. Rude? Stay here. As she closed the door behind her, I casually glance towards the side that clearly and unmistakably unmistak represents the girl's bathroom. Okay, hide in here. I'll come and get you when the coast is clear. Uh, hello? The sign says it's the girl's bathroom. Yeah, I have eyes. It's the only room that's not locked in this hallway, so get in before they see us. Oh, hell no. Nah. The girl's bathroom is female's most private sanctuary. I can't possibly defile it with my male presence. But this is a pretty serious crisis we have on our hands. What should I do? Hmm. <laughs> that is a short skirt. You're not wrong. I feel like I'm being read a bedtime story. This is so enjoyable. I'm happy the, the weird one. <laughs> I know. Everyone looks so short compared to the background. <laughs> All right, guys. Is there really no choice? Or is there no way I'm going in there? It's a trap. I think it's a trap. I think it's a trap. Maybe the girls are in the bathroom. No, man. No, man. I'm a dude. I don't go in where the la- uh, I, I- That's not- That's not my place. It's not my place to be. I think that's more- More- In- In- Criminal- Words. Like, that's- I'll be more criminal in the bathroom than I am in the hallway. Like, how bad is it really for me to be in the hallway? Is it really that bad? Right? Fat chance. I've never been inside a girl's bathroom for 16 years. I'm not about to start now. Nope, that goes against everything I stand for. Besides, what if someone else is in there? Then we'd really be in trouble. I just checked. It's empty. So that's why she went in before. I'll try and convince her with some hard facts. But don't you feel weird letting a guy into the bathroom? Like, what if I spread... <laughs> Those are some hard facts, guys. Just spreading my guy germs everywhere. Oh, for the love of what are you, 10? Hurry up and get in there before I start getting mad. Before I can argue any further, the girl opens the door and shoves me into the bathroom. Fair, didn't have a choice. Did she shut the lights off too? That's creepy, man. Just be good and sit there. I'll be right back. She didn't even give me the opportunity to counter. And immediately after the door shuts, I can hear her running off towards the approaching voices. I guess she's gonna convince them not to look in here. But who is that girl anyway? phrasing what what phrasing what phrasing i'm reading what the game says <laughs> who's that girl anyway she's not an upperclassman but with the way she handled the whole debacle was impressive i'm not gonna lie oh come on if this thing happens in comics with the tv shows not my real life is my real life what is that happening in my real life what are my younger self would react if i'm gonna end up hiding from girls alone in the girls bathroom Okay, come on out. That was fast, and now we're magically the other in the hallway. What did you say to them? I just told them that I saw a shiny Eevee in the tall grass on the opposite side of the building. Should keep them busy for a while. That's a good one. Bet they made a beeline for it. 
a shiny Eevee. Hell, I don't think I'd be able to resist an opportunity like that either. This girl knows what <laughs> this girl knows what makes Pokemon enthusiasts tick. I've never seen a pack of girls turn heel and run so fast before. Makes me wonder what their priorities are in life right now. Uh, before I forget, here, I took one of the brochures they dropped. Let me get bigger towards you. If I recall, you really need it. Thanks, you're a lifesaver, literally. Don't mention it. But that detour just now really put me behind schedule. I have to go to the main hall before I'm late. But you know, despite everything that happened, it was kind of a lot of fun. Probably the most fun I've had in a while. Let's do it again sometime. <laughs> yeah, that sounds good. I smile <laughs> as she <laughs> gradually slides off screen. Even after she was out of my sight, I continued to stand there smiling like an idiot. <laughs> oh, I forgot to ask her name. Wasn't a trap, guys. Not a trap. As promised, my words long as you're in the room, can't wait to sit down. The room is much more spacious. Wasn't a huge fan, but every person has their own desk cabinet standard with so much space. If you divide the room in half, it's probably the same size as my room palette. I spend way too much time talking about a room. Is someone playing a video game? What is that? Some kind of kid's game? Two and two cases are still collecting dust next to mine. Uh, you're not going to unpack? Oh, hey, Nick. The stupid sable I just confused my Kabutops inconveniently. Oh, conveniently right before he <laughs> sword stands. Stupid rig game. Oh, I have no rush to unpack. Why not enjoy the time off after walking around all day? Fair enough. He's right. We might as well. This entire time I've been either walking or standing or sitting and just thinking to myself instead of saying words to people who are standing in front of me. Attention, new students! The time is now 4.45 p.m. There will be an orientation taking place in the auditorium of Relic Hall starting in 15 minutes. All new students are advised to attend. That sounds interesting, and Tierno conveniently slid off screen. I checked the time to confirm. 15 minutes should be plenty. Uh, where'd he go? <laughs> oh, Trevor! How do you find the room? Tierno sent a text message to me about an hour ago. Trev's actually just finished signing up for a room himself. So, who are you rooming with again? I completely forgot. Another first year, like, a, I thought he was talking to us. I was like, uh, you, dude, I'm rooming with you. Another first year, like us, named Caleb. You remember him, right? I think, I believe you met him when you were in Lumio City a few months back. His name sounds familiar. I think he was... Oh, is he the one with that rich-looking girl? Are you talking about Serena? Sure, Serena! Or are you talking about Shauna? Because they're both Illumios at some point. I'm not completely certain if Caitlyn was there on both occasions. In either case, I'm sure you know exactly what she looked like. Uh, I don't know. Shauna was the shorter one? So this is what it feels like to be the third wheel. But I remember Serena! That is Caleb guy is always wearing sunglasses above his cap, right? Yes, that would be the one. Oh, that's awesome. What are the chances he'd be here too? It's almost like it's the only Pokemon Academy around. I wonder if Serena and Shauna are also here? Well, I don't know about Serena since I don't talk to her often. Shauna's supposed to be here, but I've yet to see her or hear from her. And as far as for Caleb, he's here for Professor Sycamore's recommendations. You can probably ask them about Serena since they're neighbors from the same town. They'll have heard they're not that close anymore. Weird, I wonder what happened. But anyway, that dude must be a big shot if he can get here on recommendations from a famous professor. <laughs> Yo, Extreme Taco! How's it going? If I'm not mistaken and out of my mind, Professor Sycamore is a researcher who specializes in Pokemon evolution theory. There are some big names at this academy for sure. My cat is having none of this me eating and drinking at my computer business. And talking to the computer. He, she hates that. I wonder what they'd say if I told them Professor Oak made me come here. They wouldn't want to hear about me. Besides, we have more important things to deal with right now. You guys heard the announcement just now, right? Oh, the orientation. You're right, I nearly forgot. We should start making our way over there. What a short break. Guess we'll just have to unpack later. You didn't even try. Let's all slide off screen. Oh, Trevor's hair is totally like Rowlet. 
It's impressive how absolutely packed this empty room is with an empty podium. Trevor doesn't seem phased at all. I guess it makes sense since he's from the big city. Meanwhile, Tierno waltzes about without messing a beat. I feel like a real country bumpkin with these two around. People won't stop coming in. There has to be a few hundred in here at this point. Back in Kanto, aside from big city towns, it'd be weird to have more than a hundred students in a single grade. Then again, students from all over the world are enrolled here. I think about if I was that way, a couple hundreds is pretty selective. Hmm. I see him, Trevs. At least I think that's him. I... Sorry, but I can't see a thing. But I can just send him a message. It doesn't seem like he's with anyone or... Wait. N Never mind, he is. I think that's Serena with him. So they're both here. Uh, Tierno? <laughs> Looks like they're arguing. No idea about what, though. They looked fine a couple seconds ago. I told you before, they aren't exactly on the best terms. Is something up with Caleb and Serena? Oh, God, why? Not like this. This noise. It's like a thousand Pokemon got together and used Screech and Supersonic at the same time. Cancel from screaming <laughs> from the pain or if it's still the feedback. <laughs> I love that everyone went, like, Oran Host Club just gray, no pupils. <laughs> Here because Ninsuna bullied you and I had to come and make her stop. Oh, no bullying. <laughs> well, thanks for coming. Bye, Taco. <laughs> oh, no. Bye, everyone. Bye, where'd you go? What kind of terrible speaker makes it sound like that? Okay, what voice? All right, all right, everyone. You can do all your cute intros or catch up with each other later, but please find yourselves a seat. There should be plenty of open spots. Half the people in this room are still brain dead on the floor after that uproar. I feel my ears crying. What was that? Some kind of hazing ritual? Please, no more. I'll kill you. Flattery, not here. Oh, you need to lay off the lava cookies, girl. What the hell? Is this an intro? Try that again. <laughs> Oh, what is happening? Come on now, we're on a schedule yet moving. What a scary girl. Hope I don't have to mess with her anytime soon. Oh, uh, reminds me of the days when I used to DJ for parties. You have to hand it to Roxanne. That certainly caught everyone's attention. Oh, I see her at the stage's podium. That would be her, our third year student council president. I turn to follow where Tierno and Trevor were looking and see a lone female student now standing at the stage's podium. And to their credit, she is standing at the stage's podium. After what just happened, I can't imagine what that girl's like. I put my money on either incredibly brilliant or sadistic. Let's grab our seats, yeah? Yeah? <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> I'm... <laughs> I'm Roxanne, and to start, I would like to thank the Academy staff here for allowing the cancel to hold this special event. I hope you will make the most of this occasion and grant me the opportunity to officially welcome every one of you to this prestigious establishment. Everyone? <laughs> it's actually hurting my nose. Welcome to the Kabuka Academy of Events, Pokemon Arts and Sciences. The camera is slowly drifting. <laughs> so slowly. So slowly. <laughs> is it gonna stop? While we are calling this event an orientation, I'd ask for your patience in this initial assembly before you all return to socializing or attending your personal agendas. False advertising. There's a difference between an orientation and an assembly. It's coming. I know it's one of, gonna be one of those long insomnia curing speeches. As the camera slowly drifts closer to Roxanne. <laughs> For the first thing I'd like to mention, I hope you've all managed to reserve your own rooms in one of the three student residential halls. The one here is Relic Hall. And the other two, Pledge Hall and Aura Hall, are located east and west, respectively. Res respectively from this location. 
I'm glad we got that done early. Yeah! Another important item to cover is class scheduling. All of you here will follow a preset class schedule of six periods a day I'll cover each right now. So if you don't want to wake up confused next week, pay close attention. This is it. The first period of each day is homeroom, lasting two hours. I'm not gonna remember. I wonder if Pokemon breakdancing counts as social studies. I'll be down with dancing for two hours. Oh, sweet, naive Terno. But seriously, one class for two hours? If I had a Pokemon with me, I'd sooner spend two hours in Mount Moon with no repels. Am I right? Am I right? Sick Pokemon burn, bro. Following Hober will be an hour of one Pokemon type elective of your choice. What you choose depends on completely on you. As first years, you'll be able to select two out of the 18 known Pokemon types to focus your studies on. <laughs> Just two. Well, hold up. We're specializing in two Pokemon types. Two out of 18. I'm glad you also came to this conclusion, Nick. I glanced at Tierno and Trevor's direction. Neither of them even flinched. Did they know about this? I wish Professor Oak told me this kind of stuff for making me come here. The third period of the day is your gym class. Here you will learn about different concepts of Pokemon battles, training strategies, and the mental and physical capabilities of each individual Pokemon. From noon starts your lunch hour. The main cafeteria is in the student center in the middle of the campus. You are also more than welcome to prepare your own meals ahead of time. In case you're wondering about your two Pokemon type electives that I'm coming back to now. This is what your fifth period class will involve the second Pokemon type. And to close out the day, your sixth and final period will be one more hour of homeroom. Why is there so much homeroom? This voice 10 out of 10. <laughs> I think the drift finally stopped. After classes, academy research and extracurricular facilities are designated for individuals or groups to use. However, some facilities require special permission for access to must close by sundown. I hope that wasn't too much of an information overload once classes are in session. I trust all of you will be able to develop a comfortable routine. I sure hope so, Madam President. Like many professors have said in the past, your own adventure is about to begin. This is Kabuka Academy, and being here is your pride. Working together, we wish to foster an environment where you can believe in your own goals and take every opportunity that presents itself before you. But try as we might, the reality is not everything will always go your way. It won't. Not every opportunity will be for everyone, and not every door will be open for you. However... Should you ever find yourself in a situation where you feel trapped and helpless, remember you can always create your own door and travel your own path. Have a great rest of the day, everyone, and don't forget to get those side ups done. Sounds like that. Well, sounds like that wraps it up. Now what? You two could stay if you would like, but I'll be returning first with Caleb to start the registering for our type classes. Typical traps responsible all the way. Two out of 18 choices? I don't even know where to start. It's an important decision, and we should take our time with it. We should probably head back, too. Sounds good to me. Nick, if you need to reach out for me, here's my contact information. Oh, as roommates, we have to, like, exchange numbers? I forgot. You're drawing me as red? Sec. Sec, bacon. Sec. Will you obtain someone's info? Oh, no. Do I actually have to, like, phone people? See you guys another time then. Adios, Trevs. Cool, are we ready? Yeah, let's go. I'm ready, let's rock. Which you type electives will you choose? There are 18 known Pokemon types. I have to decide carefully which two types should be my electives for this year. Alright. Alright, 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 everybody. Um, 
Poke, you can get in on whatever bandwagon you like. I'm going to do a quick tweet, but everyone type in your preferred electives. I'm really leaning towards fairy. I really enjoy fairy. S just because it's kind of dumb. You should return tomorrow. All right, the weird one. I won't be streaming tomorrow, um, but I will be streaming Sunday, playing some awesome knots. So come by and have a good time, I guess. And then, yeah, I'll see you the next week because San Diego Comic Con is going to get in the way. So have a good one. All right, so I'm picking fairy. Should I go with fairy as an elective? Yes. One more to go. What's your fave Pokemon? Are you saying electric weird one? All right. My fave Pokemon. Um, I don't know, man. There's a lot. Hi. I'm playing a Pokemon dating sim. Want to help me do voices? <laughs> what voices do I get to do? I don't know. Everyone's a dude. Oh, that's easy. <laughs> you accidentally exited out of the window. How'd you do that? Um, okay, electric. I'm too sweaty for the internet right now. It's too hot out. Okay. It's really hot out. It's cool in here, though. You selected fairy and electric as your type No, electives. that's not... There's no... <laughs> that's not anyone's voice. That's a good voice, though. <laughs> now the stream won't load. Oh, no. Oh. <sighs> How's everyone tonight? Everyone's pretty good. Y'all lit? Would you pick Nick? Hmm? Fairy and electric? <laughs> Wait, hang on. Am I doing that voice? <laughs> you can do this voice okay. if you want. Sweet! I picked electric and rock! <laughs> <laughs> Looks like we'll be seeing each other out s other side the room, too. <laughs> you have a lot of text. This right is it, now. Nick. Starting next week, we'll be grinding knowledge and enjoying the new life we have here. He's right. It all starts after this weekend. That's a weird... Is that Ash? No, it's me. That, it looks like handsome teenage... It looks like <laughs> handsome college-age Ash. Oh, uh, it's red? I'm not reading all this. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I'm just... Uh, I'm so far away from home, guys. It's Pokemon Academy Lifetime. If only there was weird type. Yeah, that would be me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it is you. Is there it an anime-ass opening to this? Yes. Is this made by Nintendo? No. Okay. <laughs> Good font choice. Yep. Love the drop shadow. I'm just gonna let it like <laughs> do its thing. Is this the end of the demo? Could I not even rotate romance anyone? See, this is what happens when you don't release Pokemon Go in Canada, where we resort to this. I'm playing Pokemon Go. <laughs> Look at all these. Why does almost everyone have button ups? Um, Up that's to the neck. That's Nintendo's choice, and also the school uniform. Holy I think. Crap. Yeah, I guess. Dem Pokemon. Oh yeah, and then some fantasy type character there <laughs> are they is this like the extent of the outfit choices like is it procedural i don't know oh there's my boy what's his name his name is Rig his name is riggles that's riggles <laughs> it's tierno <laughs> people in the chat are freaking out <laughs> i think We've been talking to nothing. We haven't been talking to nothing. Oh, oh. wait! Is it actually going to keep going? I thought it was going to just end. No, I was going to say Riggles with just R, no W. Just Riggles? I'm Riggles! <laughs> no, he's Tierno! No, his name is Riggles now. It's finally the first day of classes. 
Oh, that was everyone putting on their outfits. <laughs> Over the weekend, I've spent most of my time setting up the room, getting used to the campus. Relic Hall, I'm going to turn it back down. Relic Hall is surprisingly big. We've got this huge auditorium, a student lounge, a library. I still get lost even with a map, but I'm slowly getting used to it. I haven't been able to check out the academy building yet. It's been off limits since the school opened its doors. It's recently been available to students and dying to see would be my classes the same Chile. And I first snug no, up on me again. No, no, don't phone it in. Do <laughs> I'm getting that. goosebumps. Let's do this. You have to do all of it. <laughs> Ready to get some breakfast for the big day? <laughs> We're heading to the main cafeteria? No better place, right? I'm ready. Let's go. I love how they slide off screen. Yeah. It, it makes Everyone's my day. on those uh on those two wheeled I don't know what those machines are. Yep. Yeah. Oh, I'm the too, segways? Yeah, I'm too old. Trevor and his oh or the hoverboards. Sure. Like the ones yeah, that yeah, like yeah. without the segways without the loser stick. Yep. That people hold on to. Yep. Um Trevor and his roommate Callum were chilling at the entrance waiting for us. We agreed to meet up before heading over to the student center cafeteria together. The three of them are all from Kalos, and, and in the past weekend, I learned quite a bit about their home region and how it's different from Kanto. None of them have ever been to Kanto before, so they asked a lot of questions, especially Trevor. I swear, they treat us Kanto guys like we're an endangered species. I wondered how many other people are from Kanto, aside from me and Blue. I'm sure- You were literally on a bus with people! Who were they? Well, I'm sure I'll find out later today. Character cards updated. Oh, see you later, the some, weird one. Some people are bailing out. That's fine. That's fine. The main cafeteria is... Oh, there's... No, there's too much text here. That's... Uh, whenever there's a box this big is... What? Is, what? Bacon, what? Um, Bacon what? Biscuit asks, uh, what's your favorite Pokemon? Oh, right. I was answering that. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe Espeon? I could see that. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah? Uncle Fairy? No. Lickitung? Have you heard my, no. Lickitung, my Lickitung impression? I don't want to. <laughs> Maybe Twitch does. No, it's you. It's you. Yo, Nick, out of all the people here, how many do you think we'll see in our class later? I don't even know where to begin. There's got to be a few here who chose the same Pokemon types as us. Do you know other Pokemon preferences can be tied to your personality? <laughs> That's his voice. They need to make it breathier. Say, say Nick, for instance. Those who prefer fairy types usually more whimsical in nature with strong imaginations. I think you'll find those two very common traits amongst fairy Pokemon specialists. For electric preferences, the first trait involves proactiveness. And you consider electric type traders the ones who show the most reactions, different ideas, and concepts. The and a second involves energy, and these individuals are excuse the pun, why oh, spark plugs. It does feel a little weird listening to all that and trying to apply the traits to yourself. Obviously, you shouldn't limit to yourself to certain ways of thinking or acting, but really find people who are nothing like the Pokemon types they prefer. Thanks for the insight. <laughs> you want to do this one? Oh! <laughs> I feel like I can close my eyes and y'all take me on a journey. Oh, Jen. Oh, Jen. This is a journey. It's a journey for you. Oof. Wait, sorry. Hang on. Which one's Trevor and which one's Caleb? This is Trevor. Okay. And this is Caleb. Okay. They can't see my cursor, so they're just like, who is she pointing to? Yeah. <laughs> Some girl just made a beeline at Caleb and nearly tackled him to the floor. Oh, no. What the hell are you doing? Caleb, are you? It's you. You're Tierno. Yeah, I'm this that's guy? You. That's, no, that's he's, him. He's Riggles. No, that's him. It's Riggles. Hey, it's Shauna. <laughs> I can't read even Riggles. Uh, okay. Wait, Shauna? Oh, hello, Shauna. Here we go. I'll go. Oh, oh, it's Trevor and Tierno, too! Well, who's the guy with the hat? I always thought that was your gimmick, Caleb. I think I've heard about her from somewhere. Did you pick her up before, Tuno? Did I? Hmm, I don't remember. But it wouldn't be crazy if I did. I mean, we're all from Kalos, so it's natural I might have said something about her, you know? <laughs> I'm losing the voice. Really? So every <laughs> everyone standing here but me is from Kalos? It's you. 
I was doing the chat. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> this is awkward. What's with Kalos getting so many kids in here? This place isn't exactly the easiest school to get into. Does that mean Kalos has some insane high class, high society region? Kale and Trevor look like they fit the description of upper class kids, but Tierno? Ouch. <laughs> What's up? Is there something on my face? Oh no. Did I get another zit? Still you. Where is it? I can't look like this on my first day of class. Oh god, get it off! <laughs> the phrase. <laughs> what the fuck? He just ran. He's really fast. The phrase never judge a book by its cover has never been more appropriate than now. Your face is clean, Tierno. Oh, why didn't you say so, buddy? Like I knew you had an imaginary zip phobia. Hey, what are you two whispering about over there? Uh, whispering? Who's whispering? We're not whispering. This is quality writing. This but hey, I don't think you've met Nick yet. <laughs> I sure haven't! <laughs> I'm just gonna shout. Yeah. That's the whole like voice. My voice is getting higher and higher. Put her there! Shauna doesn't even wait for a response before she yanks my hand and vigorously shakes it so my entire body is moving. Yes, Alpha yes, dog. yes, yes. Well, you got big hands to your neck. That's a cool name for you. If I were from Kalos, but it would be exactly as kind of far away, but it was so worth getting here. Hey, what a life to see you choose such a dragon first because, wow, so amazing. But anyways, I'm a fairy type girl, and we probably stood around here long enough. You can acquaint yourself with Nick while we're eating. Yeah, good point. Let's eat so we never start making, so we can start making our way to the academy. You're right! I am starving! No, that was STA. No, I'm not spelling the whole thing out. Shauna, something else, right? I've never had anyone this energetic before. Aside from you? Yeah, she seems really nice. Uh, rude. Hey, you guys, come in our line. They're serving slow tails today. They're eating Pokemon? <laughs> I mean, I guess that, I mean, I guess you would. Well, that answered the age-old question. This is canon, so now we all know. Yeah, like, do you eat Pokemon? You do. You do, because they're the only animals to eat. Now Tumblr's gonna blow up. Yeah. There's a race of the day and I'm missing out on them. What? No, those are mine. You touch those and you're dead to me. <laughs> you eat those? Just kidding. There is no such thing with downtime with these guys. At the very least, I should be able to build some serious stamina this school year. Well, it's clear we're all the other ones who are anxious, and there's a big wall of text, and everyone's here, and things are pretty cool. I think that's what that said. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, this is not the official Pokemon dating sim, but it should be. <laughs> It is not official, Deroneus. It is a fan-made game, um, but it's doing it's doing a pretty hot job. Slowpoke tails are the only Pokemon that's ever stated to be feared, but like, I mean, they must eat them, right? Wow, this area of campus is amazing. I don't know when I'm gonna stop playing this or how long it is. You don't have to be here the whole time. Yeah, this was my decision, not yours. I think I said. I think I've. I've I've said my piece. <laughs> yeah. I made an impression. You made um, an impression. Yeah, now, definitely. From now on, Riggles. Tierno Riggles. That's his nickname. Tierno Riggles uh, his Pokemon. Imprinted. That's his last name. Is like, oh. <laughs> I don't like that. That's <laughs> what's, confusing. What's his last it's name? It's going to be uh, Jacksonville. Tierno Riggles Jacksonville. Yep. That's uh, Deroneus, thanks for the follow. <laughs> All right, I'm out of here. Bye. <laughs> okay. Okay. Bye-bye. Can you close the door, kind of, but not lock the cat in here, because she'll cry? Yep. Okay. I look up and see the symbols embossed in the facade. Kabukan Academy. Supposedly, this building has been around for nearly a century. It's hard to believe. The condition of this place makes it seem like it was built yesterday. I have a difficult time imagining that this is what I'll be looking at each day from now on. Not that I'm complaining. I'm just excited to be here. First thing on the agenda is check the homeroom assignments, right guys? Guys? Come on. I was so deep in thought I didn't realize I'm alone. Maybe I walked too fast or are they ahead of me already? Regardless, I need to get back inside and check the homeroom assignments. 
My favorite thing is in the original anime when the people don't think the Americans would understand Japanese food, so they'd be eating rice balls and be like, wow, these donuts are great. Yeah, for sure. Uh, Burby Trash left for 10 minutes. What'd you miss? Not sure you missed anything. We met Shauna, uh, and her voice is just me shouting. So have fun with that. Um, does that guy ever get stuff for autographs? Do you mean Ben? I don't think so. I think he's... I think he generally just goes about his life like a normal human being. Who's Chris Owens? Or you mean Chris Evans? Because he's dresses him for a few days. Or a few Halloweens. You figure a big guy like Tierno would be hard to miss, but I don't see him anywhere. Trevor Callum and Sean are nowhere to be found either. There's a cluster of students gathered by the bulletin board. This must be the homeroom list. I thought that said birch. Or bitch, rather. It says birch. Hmm. I quickly th scanned through Professor Oak's list, and I immediately spot my name at the bottom. Well, I can't say I'm surprised. It's also in a different font, like I was a last-minute addition to Oak's class. So my font is legible, and everyone else's font is just fucked. And this last professor... I hope we can romance one of the professors. Like, I hope the 1D professor is, like, wants my D. Like, let's do this. Let's see who else is in my class. Well, well, well. I said, well, well, well. I heard you the first time. At least look at me when you're talking to me. But wow, you actually got here before the bell. Still slower than me, but that's natural. So, which class are you in? Your grandpa's, according to this. How do you miss my name? Oh, crap. I just st set stink face up. He's going to say something really condescending, like, my name isn't even worth a glance. Or maybe not. Gramps, are you serious? I guess it's kind of surprising for us to get into the same class, considering the huge number of students in our year. I wonder if Professor Oak set this up himself. I hope he's not playing any favorites this year. Why? I thought I told him to... Ugh, who cares? Now I have a front row seat to watch you bum in class. Oh, you're all with Professor Oak. That voice. Great flaming Moltres, it's that girl. Oh, Chris Owen. Oh, American Pie. He has gotten the American Pie before. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Steel Blue's girlfriend, sister, and mom. Doing it. Sure wish I knew her name so I could offer her more than a feeble hand wave. Long time no see. Did you get lost on the way here? Hey, give me a break. I thought we we're done with that. Did you say you had fun? Hey, don't get it twisted. I had lots of fun. You know this one, Mag? Uh, excuse me. Don't interrupt a girl when she's talking to her friend. Rude. Yeah, right. I bet you don't even know his name. Obviously, it's... Uh... She leans over and whispers in my ear. She's so close, I can smell a sweet fragrance coming off of her. Hey, what's your name again? Oh, way too close for comfort. Uh, it's Nick. And I'm a firm believer in personal space. Oh yeah, Nick, where Vestia has always been. You're not fooling anybody. Yeah, we're best friends. Uh, it's Leaf. Thanks, but please, personal space. Ugh. My god, you better cut the crap. You're acting so bad, it's pissing me off. Give it a rest, Blue. I know who Leaf is. Ran into her on our first day here, and she helped me out of a tough spot. We're both short on time, so we forgot to introduce ourselves. Like, I give a rat in his ass what happened. Oh, you've to have wasted my time enough today. We've got places to go and things to do. Smell ya. Melia, what does that even mean? It's blue. He said that for as long as I've known him, and I've known him for a long time. Not that I'm particularly proud of it. So he's been smelling you for a long time? What a creep. No, that's not how it works. <laughs> Let's go, Nick. We'll be late for our first class. Leaf, huh? And stink face. And me? In the same room for the next two hours. Every day for the next year. And then one hour at the end of the day, too. It's gonna be quite the semester. Ooh. 
This is one classy ass homeroom. Can we talk about this? Can we talk about how nice this room is and how nice these chairs are? <laughs> Excuse you. This doesn't look like the rest of the school. This classroom's really big. Contemporary Pokemon paintings. Wonder if I'll be able to see any of them. This place rivals royalty. It feels out of place. May! I can't believe we're in the same homeroom! Nick, this is my roommate, May. Nice to meet you. Hi, Nick! Hey, she's kind of cute. I know that look. Careful, Nick. She's taken. What? I didn't do anything! Brendan's completely harmless. He's a really social guy. I'm sure he'd love to meet you. All of their skirts are really short. Is he in this class too? Brendan's in class 1A next star. Oh, in Birch's class. You should tell your father, May, that in his recent article regarding the pros and cons of invasive bug Pokemon, his biological control has been well received. I'm impressed. Professor! Hello, Nick. Great to see you've settled in nicely here. May is Bay. I guess Dad's work in the field has been paying off. Oh, no. I guess Dad's work in the field has been paying off. For the last couple of years, it's not like a swarm of Beedrill chasing him around. It'd be an Eridos or an occasional Scyther. Are you well versed in bug types, May? I assume you've gained a lot of experience while assisting with your father's work. I wouldn't go that far. I'm not too interested in bug types to begin with. Seems May knows Professor Oak through her father. I wonder how many more students know the staff through personal connections. I see. So what Pokemon types will the three of you be focusing on this year? Fire and fighting. Grass on electric over here. Fairy and electric for me. Excellent choices all around. Well, I hope all of you are ready. The bell will ring soon, so go ahead and find yourselves a seat. I know, it, like, no school has ever been this classy. Let's sit together, May. Sorry, Nick. Maybe I'll see you in our electric class. What do you think of Leaf, Nick? Absolutely, uh, charming. Ha! <laughs> She's a lot of fun to be around. Come sit by us. Well, I sure as hell won't sit by Stinkface. I'll gladly accept May's offer. Alright, guys. I know it's only day one. What is this game, Dark Tide 3? I don't know. But... I think I might have to call it. Because I've now also been playing this game for an hour. And... It's gonna go for a long time. So, I will play this another time as well. If you ever see me on gaming talk shows, it's gonna be this game. And... Yeah. So guys, I think that's it for me today. I love you all. But... At some point, I do need to sleep. Will you be okay with that? You're not done drawing yet, Bacon. Well, I'm sorry. But... Oh, well, you'll post it to Twitter when you're done. Dark Tide 3, thanks for the follow. Uh, hope you'll join me again when I'm playing Pokemon Academy Life, or when I'm doing creative streams, or Awesome Knots, which are streams that I do on a regular basis. So, everyone, I'm Nick. Um... It has been fantastic hanging out with you for the last couple hours. And I will not be streaming tomorrow, even though my schedule says tomorrow, because today's stream is tomorrow's stream, because I'm going to a show tomorrow. Um, but I will see you all on Sunday for the scheduled stream. We'll play some games together. It'll be great. Follow me here if you want to see more streams. Follow me on Twitter and shit. Whatever. You know the drill. Um... I am probably gonna throw my bud metagame Mike a host. He is playing through Pokemon right now, doing some Wonderlock stuff. So that's pretty fun. So hope you'll check that out. And yeah, here I guess I can, oh, get out of here BRB. I'm not BRB, I'm right here. Don't be like that. So yeah, I will see you guys all later. Thanks so much for joining. Thanks so much for watching. Um, I'll be maybe finishing up the uh, updog stuff on stream on Monday. Maybe not. Maybe I'll be doing a draw stream or something. We'll see. 
So it's been great hanging out with all you guys with this lovely Pokemon music in the background. I will bid you adieu and I will see you next stream. So see you all soon. Bye.